Good morning everyone. It's uh, Friday the 25th of November. One month until Christmas Day. Can you believe it? I can't. It's only half past seven in the morning. Mark's gone to work. Well, he's gone early because he's got to take his car for a service or to have something fixed or something. Um, so he's had to go early and then he'll be picking up a courtesy car. So he's, he's left me to feed the dogs this morning. He normally feeds them in the morning and I do, I feed them sort of about four-ish. But um, he had to rush out. So uh, Daisy got me up at seven anyway. So when Daisy wants to get up, one can't ignore her because if one does, one does at one's peril because she'll pee on the carpet. So I'm just about to feed them now. So let's get that done. Right. Molly gets more food than Daisy and she gets more dry food. Daisy just gets a little, a few bits of the dry because she's got a delicate stomach. So we find her better on mainly wet food. So we're giving them Lily's Kitchen. And Daisy also has this You Digest Dog Supplement, supports digestive health, keeps stools firm, reduces excess wind. And she used to get these bouts of being a bit fractious and um, clingy and she was she had discomfort and we believe it was down to a, a digestion anyway since giving her these one a day <clears throat> and reducing the dry food and giving her more wet then she hardly ever has them so i have to break these up but now mark says give molly one as well because molly sometimes she starts uh, to put it delicately munching on her minge is that the word well anyway she's always licking down there um and her bottom and it's disgusting it's the the sound it makes when she's you know having a right good root round with her tongue up there i mean of course i think most of us would do that if we could ourselves um now then so molly's getting some as well so because i mean this has lasted ages just with 300 tasty tablets we put them in the food you're supposed to you can just feed them dogs might eat them so i'm going to go on their website and see if they've got a black friday offer um and get some more of that right so that's daisy so put a bit of lily's kitchen tinned food in Ugh. that'll be enough for daisy mark mark gives her far too much when i see how much he gives her i think that's too much so I've been reducing it and she's lost a bit of weight. Oh, it's that, what, what have they got today? It's cottage pie. Right, and to that, we put a bit of freshly boiled water. I don't know where they are. Normally the dog's at my feet. Dog is, food is. Got so much to do today. I was a bit inactive yesterday because well, the day before yesterday, I suddenly started getting flu-like flu -like symptoms and um, my whole body was aching. I started getting a temperature. All right, that'll do. Oh, here's Daisy. All right, here's yours. So as I was saying, I was sat on one of the chairs in the living room. I think I might have been editing a video or just slouching, watching Netflix or something. I've only got Netflix for a few more days. I only took it out for a month. To watch the crown and i've been watching the windsors uh, which are very similar programs and just catching up on a few bits and bobs um, but i don't keep netflix i just get it when i want it and then i stop it there's no point in having it all the time um so i started feeling a bit achy and mark's already been a bit spluttery and bunged up and throaty you know sort of cold symptoms so um I did, it came out all of a sudden, um, felt really bad and I just sort of, I got a temperature and I always know not to do anything to reduce that temperature. So I, I suffered with the temperature um, because that's your body's way of dealing with whatever is making you feel ill. So I left, I left that to run its course um, and I wasn't, the next day, well no I think it worked, yeah. It was the evening, I was all achy, really like I'd strained something, but I know I hadn't, because I hadn't been lifting anything. So I had an Epsom salt bath, 
with a full one kilogram bag of Epsom salts. So that was helpful. And then I also made sure I, I boosted my vitamins. I took some zinc, magnesium. Um, I took some black, a black seed oil capsule. I also took a, um, oh, what's that thing I take? It's another oregano oil capsule. That's supposed to be very anti-viral, anti-biotic. It's like a natural antibiotic. And I know if I, I should take that every day, and I normally do remember to take it every day. But anyway, so I did that, went to bed, um, sweated it out. I, was, I had this sort of coldness, so I had to put a fleece on top of my duvet. And then I woke up and I didn't have any cold um, symptoms as such, but I just, I could not really move. My, I'm still hurting now, back of my neck, I couldn't really bend over and lift stuff up without it hurting. So I, you know, I took one cocodamol and one ibuprofen, which kept me going most of the day. And then I think later on, I took a couple of ibuprofen on their own. And at bedtime, I took two cocodamol, which, you know, they're strong ones, these, and they whack, you know, completely zonked out. So I've woken up today, woke up today, and I've all got slight pain in the neck what's new, I am a pain in the neck. But I'm, you know, I'm feeling a lot more mobile and active. I've just had a shower. I'm just having a coffee, where have I put it? It's over there, hang on. But I'm a lot better. I'm a lot better now, if you're concerned. So let me just show you the mess that is the downstairs of the house. I don't think I'll venture upstairs, it's even worse. Things have progressed. Um, I did make some notes, actually. I'll just, I'll just check my notes, hang on, just hold on. Because you know me, I'm always random and I'm saying things and I thought, well, I haven't told you this. Topics for next vlog. Sofa, oh yes, well, I think I told you the sofa's been ordered. I didn't tell you what British Heart Foundation actually raised from selling the old sofa and chairs. I've got a letter somewhere, I can't find it. But it was over 400 pounds. They sold the old sofa and chairs for over maybe about 450 quid, which is astonishing to me. I didn't realize it would go for that much. It's pretty dated, but somebody paid that for it. Um, oh, well, that was the net. I think that was the net income from it. So that was good. I try and keep the kitchen as tidy as I can. Well, certainly the kitchen side of the kitchen um, <clears throat> all I've got to do is just, I've got to empty the dishwasher put the dirty stuff in, um, wipe round and well the floor desperately needs washing it's because it's like a, a mud bath out there we've had so much rain um, the dogs I mean that'll be filthy that black I know it needs vacuuming but it'll be absolutely covered in mud so that needs a wash and I've just got boxes to, to get rid of now this box I was going to sell this I would never suggest you buy a Vax product again. I mean, they're okay initially, but the, the reliability, you know, the, you know the Vax saga, but uh, it's even worse now because I was gonna sell this Vax Glide floor washer, but I noticed it didn't seem to be holding its charge. So I timed it. It's been charging up. I've charged it up several times fully and it lasts about four minutes on its, you know, maximum setting, which I always use it on. If you use it on eco, it doesn't really clean. But it, it, it used to last a lot longer than four minutes. It's ridiculous. So now I'm thinking, oh, I can't sell that. Well, I can sell it, but say, I have to put, it only lasts four minutes. So <sighs> it's under guarantee, I expect, but I'm not gonna humiliate myself and, and say, look, this battery's, I'm just not gonna buy, I'm not gonna buy that stuff again. I'm not buying it. People go on about Shark being poor quality and everything. Well, I've had more problems with Vax than any other brand. So I'm avoid them like a barge pole. Just don't touch them with a barge pole, as I say. Right, so the kitchen isn't too bad. It's uh, the, more, the most mess is in the living room. Oh, Daisy, look at that poor dog. So this is a bit of a... Mm, Bit of a mess i mean i've still got here i did have loads of boxes in here i've got quite a bit on sale now on ebay and they finish 
next from next week from monday start to finish and hopefully i'll be able to get them all collected and do that but i've moved those upstairs because i did tidy up the living room a bit but it's all got a mess again so i've got to clear up downstairs it's not fair on mark um it's just my laundry basket i've got some jeans to wash some dark garments so they can be washed so yes this is where the mirror's going if you can see just above the radiator in the middle of that wall and then a statement lamp either side i mean it, it, they're as tall as that plant so it's is going to cover the light switch but we do have another light switch in this room and we don't use that one so much so it's about where that light switch so they're big and it'll be either side that's been moved because that's where the christmas tree is going and this stuff here i've been sorting out which needs to go in the garage really uh, that's just a box for another vacuum there's some uh well, I was going to sell that um, Daxi bedding or just give it to charity shop. I'll probably just give it to charity shop. It's Christmas stuff. Two, two more boxes of Lily's Kitchen because there was another offer and it was 30% off plus a free dog advent calendar. So I got some more Lily's Kitchen. Um, more Black Friday stuff. This stuff, I'll, show, I'll do a separate video on the neat cleaning products. But they were on offer. In there is a Lego train. Now I did get this because this was a good offer. It's the newest um, Lego train. There we go. Hang on. That I got for about 50 something pounds. Look up the price of this. Very had it on a Black Friday offer. The cheapest I've ever seen it. Plus I still get my discount so i bought that now i'm a bit disappointed with these these are from kelly hoppen um from qvc that I, I might be returning them they look i just keep thinking big dildo i can't help it i mean there's something phallic about them anyway this one's faulty now they have that they're they're ceramic and they're sort of a matte ceramic and they have a timer function which is what i like so if you, you can turn them on Oh, is that faulty? There's something dodgy about them, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's dodgy as well. I'm going to send them back. So when you put them on the timer, you you know, you turn them on at a certain time and they'll come on at that time every day and then turn off. It doesn't look very bright at the moment because the light's on. But this one stopped working. I'm going to say, I think I'll have to send them back. Oh, it's bloody working now. Oh, I'll have a look at them. I mean, they're not too bad. Uh, they're quite big, but I don't know. Does that look like it leans to you? It just looks like it's on the lean. I think, yes, I'm sure it is. Is it my eyesight? I don't know. It was a today's special value and they had these, they had stars and they had spheres. But um, they do look quite nice when it's dark. Now behind that, in case I don't get the Happy Sock Advent Calendar. I've not heard anything, but last year I just received it, the Happy Sock Advent Calendar, without any notification. It just turned up. But in case I don't, this was also in Black Friday sale from Very. This is 12 days of socks from Fat Face. So I'm not sure how to incorporate that into my Advent series. It might be a separate thing, just add it to the vlogs or something. But that was pretty reasonably priced because it was on a Black Friday offer. I got my discount and I get a lot of discount off clothing from Berry. I think it's about a third. So I can't remember how much they were, but they were less than 20 quid, I'm sure, for 12 pairs of socks, fat face socks. So, and that's a little advent tree. Um, oh, stand up. Still got my lights up. I was using them to take, you know, for the photos for eBay. Um... This vacuum is absolutely, I can't believe I've got one of these folks. I mean, it's hard to see. I um, don't know if I can, if one of these lights can be plugged in. It's a bit dark, it's so dark and dismal. It's been getting dark about two in the afternoon. It's ridiculous. It's a bit better, isn't it? This, I've wanted one of these folks. Now this one, 
relatively common. That's the Hoover Dirt Searcher. I just got that out to take a photo with its matching Hoover Conquest. Ah, oh, can't believe my luck with this one. This is very rare vacuum cleaner. Um, I've wanted one for a long, long time. Oops, careful. And it was in almost brand new condition when I got it. I have polished it, cleaned it up. So it does almost look, there's a few little marks on that I need. I don't know what they are, some brown sort of gluey type marks. I'm gonna have to get some meths or something on those. But trust me, folks, that is a rare vacuum. Look at the shine on it. Um, so that's when I unboxed when I was poorly because I had to. I haven't got all the tools with me because they're uh, some of them in the airing cupboard because I washed them. They're a little bit, you know, were, I mean, look at the color of the hose. The hose, normally when you get an old vacuum, hoses like this are absolutely black bright, but it's very satisfying to clean them because they do normally clean up as well as that. But that, I did wash that, but it didn't really need it as much. So um, to get that, it cost me over 300 pounds. Yes, I know it's a lot of money, but everything I'm selling, I'll, I'll get what's selling now. I'm sure I'll get about 600 for or more. So I'm glad to get rid of a load of stuff I don't want in order to buy one item I really, really wanted. And I'm so pleased to get that. That, as I said, it's been on my wish list for a long time. It's not something I'd probably use at all very much. It's just something to look at. Um, but anyway, so there's that. Uh, Yes, amongst, uh, well, that belongs with it. Amongst my, um, or among, I was sorting out earlier in the week, I was sorting out thing, smaller things to sell. So I have got some smaller items on eBay now, but I think really going forward, I've got to concentrate on getting rid of the big stuff, the vacuums. And then once the big stuff's taken care of, then I can start working on all the smaller items. Because the smaller items normally won't earn as much as the vacuums and they're a lot of work. You've still got to box them all up, find boxes for them, work out the postage and all that. So I could be selling 10 small items for the price, you know, for the value I'd get for selling one vacuum. So these were in, I didn't particularly, I didn't buy these for the uh, Kenwood brochures. But these were in a bundle, which included a vacuum cleaner brochure that I wanted. So I was going to sell these, but I'm, I'm thinking, no, I won't. Because it's got the Kenwood, and I've just bought a Kenwood Chef. I'll do a separate video on that. I've just bought one. I'm going to start cooking and baking, folks. So um, I remember that little battery-operated whisk. My mum's, the first Kenwood I remember my mum having... My grandma had a, a, I think my grandma had a mini like that or a bit earlier model. There's Kenwood Chefette. This, look at the price of it, $24.95. I don't know when this is date, dates from. Let me just check. Is this, I think it's 1973. Oh, that's funny because both those vacuums are from 1973 as well. So $24.95 and that is the first Kenwood my mum had. I tried to win one of those on eBay, but I didn't have a high high enough bid. It was that model. So I just bought a modern one. They're made in China now, but I think they're still fairly good. So I bought a modern Kenwood Chef to help with my baking. So, um, yeah. There it is again. It was either get a modern Kenwood Chef or a KitchenAid, but... I know I think most of the big kitchen aids are made in the USA, which is better than China. I've I've got an affinity with Kenwood more than, you know, I know they use the kitchen aid machines on Bake Off, but I'm sticking with the traditional style Kenwood chef. I prefer it. Um, oh, look, there's another thing that came yesterday. Black Friday offer. That's the cheapest I've ever seen it, 200 pounds for my ideal world also came with additional because it was in a huge box came with these additional focus it came with these additional solutions two all-in-one regular solutions and two pet ones and some spot and stain remover wipes so that was a bonus and this one 
also comes with the hose for doing your stairs and upholstery and sometimes they don't so I think that was good value it's got mixed reviews I like the fact that you can use it on carpet and hard floors because it has a, squee a separate nozzle with a squeegee there are mixed reviews on it but I've seen mixed reviews on things before and a lot of the time I'm thinking you've not read the instructions because sometimes they're saying oh it doesn't touch the floor I saw a video pretty I'm not belittling other people that make YouTube videos, but you can tell when someone hasn't got a clue how to make a video. I mean, what I do on this channel is a bit rough and ready, isn't it? I mean, it's not it's not properly edited like I do on my other channel. Um, but, you know, I saw a video of this and he clearly hadn't put the the nozzle, the front nozzle on properly. And you could, he did a, a sort of a floor shot, a low shot. And you could see the nozzle wasn't touching the carpet. And I'm thinking that nozzle isn't collect correctly put on. That's why it's not picking up properly. Because he did quite a lot of carpet and showed a tiny amount of solution that it picked up. And I'm thinking that's your fault. Well, I'm going to find out. I don't think it's as bad um, as it, it was made out in his video. Because I don't think he put the, the as I said, if you don't click the nozzle on here properly, there's a certain knack of doing it, I think. Um, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to seal to the suction part and it's not going to be flat against the carpet or floor. So I'm going to give, I'm giving it a go. Because I've bought Rug Doctor stuff. It's had mixed reviews and I've been really pleased with it. So we'll see how that goes. That's another vacuum. Um, that was actually hand delivered from a, a vacuum shop in, is it Heck? Is it Heckman Wyke? Somewhere called Heckman Wyke in West Yorkshire. He just threw it at me and ran off. I've cleaned that up. That's an, that's another rare machine, actually. Um, if you watch my other channel, you won't have seen this yet. I must get my other. I've got some other. I've got a Constellation and a Senior in those colours. That would make a lovely little scene. But um, oh, I can't, still can't get over that. I, I said to the, to the Lord, I said, oh, thank you for that. Because I was, I was thinking, oh, is it going to be broken? I did ask them to pack it really well, and they did. It was in a Louis Vuitton box, which I flat packed. Um, oh, I've got some more. Oh, this, let me just show you the other crap I've got here. Um, well, no, it's not crap. This is more Playmobil, and I've, I've got a big Playmobil order coming, and I'll do a separate unboxing of that. I've got plans for it. Um, I've got a couple of two, two new lights for the kitchen. Now, hang on. Let's see, see how unprofessional I've got in everything in the way. I've unboxed one of them. Right, one's um, a big one and one's a shorter one. Very light. There's hardly anything to it. These are LED and they're to go under the kitchen cabinets, just in the corner where the microwave and kettle is because um, there, there's one that doesn't work and I think they're the full I call it full fat electric we have some of the lights in our house are the regular halogen um, because we haven't they, they take really the small capsule bulbs and I've not found any LED ones that really are any good so I say to Mark don't leave that light on that's full fat electric it's okay leaving the LED ones on a bit but you know not the full fat ones so these are LED ones I've plugged, you know, it's quite bright. So I've got those to replace in the kitchen. Um, that's another Lego Advent calendar, but not not Lego. That's a Playmobil Advent calendar Christmas one. But I'm not going to be doing that one. Um, what else was there? I can't remember. Oh, yes, just some more stuff I got from Very. Again, because it was reduced. A fleece top from Jewels. I don't know if you know, Jewels are going tits up. The company jewels, well, they might be going tits up. They're in trouble. So uh, that's just a fleece top I've got to try on that was in the sale and my discount. And I've got another pair of, I've got a pair of Wranglers also reduced. And I've got my discount as well. Hello, Des and May. Um, so I think that's all. So, that, so basically today, now I'm feeling a lot better. I can start tidying up. 
um, at least make at least get everything in one corner so everything else is tidy I've got some space at the front to do any filming for my other channel at the moment if I want to but you see yeah I've got a bit of a deadline now obviously to tidy up what with the plumbers coming early January um, I've really got to start cracking on with things yes because if you think it looks a mess down here you should see the rest of the house because oh, it's an absolute tip by the end of next week some of that mess will have gone because it's sold I've moved it on the landing so um, that's going to come down and, and go so that'll help a bit there's still too much stuff um, and I don't know if I'll have another chance to do eBay this year if I can get another load on I will um, but it's all got to be tidied I mean I think some of it's gonna to have to be shoved back into the office just while the people are here to do the ensuite because clearly I need at the moment there's stuff on the stairs there's stuff on the landing that's all got to be completely clear because there's gonna be men going up and down and carrying stuff and we can't have them sort of weaving in and out of boxes and vacuums and all sorts so that's got to be done I've got the tree to put up so I mean I was hoping to do an advent series on my main channel but nah no way it's touch and go to doing it on this channel I will do it on this because on this channel I, I'm not so concerned with the presentation and editing of my videos this is just like me in the raw sort of thing so they are quicker to make the videos for this channel on the whole so um i'm just you know i'm going to do the advent and i'm hoping to do a few christmasy videos i'm going to show you my decorations i'm going to do some baking on this channel hopefully um and do other bits and pieces like that um but yeah it's uh i've just got there's too much to do but um, it's all gonna it'll all come together I've just got to really crack on now I haven't got time to talk to you at the moment well too late I already have so I'm gonna get cracked on I am going to uh, finish the vlog showing you what I've achieved today downstairs give me some incentive to do something and you'll see that I've made an improvement and then also at the end I'll quickly show my little mini oven slash air fryer that Elliot may be interested in because uh, he's in the market for an air fryer and if you are I'll explain why I've chosen that one and replaced it with my ninja one um, there is method behind my madness <clears throat> yeah it's a little bit throaty but I don't feel ill at all and to be quite honest yeah a little bit sore still in my neck but I haven't taken any painkillers and I don't feel I'll, I, I don't think I need to now I'm not going to take anything today so I'll just finish off my now cold coffee and get cracking and I'll be back with you in the blink of an eye and show you what I've managed to achieve I've got the bright lights and a change of top because I've just finished filming a video for my other channel for this rug doctor I mean it was um kill two birds with one stone because I demonstrated this machine but I also cleaned the kitchen floor with it I've cleaned the area of carpet in front of me which did include the green stain so it'll be interesting to see if that green stain comes back again after I've gone over it with water but it doesn't seem to be appearing again I think we've uh, broken the back of that unusual spooky stain that somehow kept reappearing so I've made a video of this thing um, if you want to watch that, it'll be on my other channel. Um, I've got a few couple of deliveries. I might as well unbox them in this video. Um, but I'm not going to show you a lovely tidy area. <laughs> not in this video anyway. Tomorrow I can carry on cleaning. I'm not planning on doing any videoing tomorrow. So I'll continue getting stuff done. So there's the rug doctor on top of a clean entrance mat. That was absolutely filthy. But uh, it's cleaned that up okay. And it's cleaned that bit of carpet. Um, still got my lights up as you can see makes a huge difference to the light in the room these sometimes I use three but well normally two is enough so that's this is what the lighting's like at half past two in the afternoon in my living room 
so it's a bit darker. I can turn the main light on. Makes it oh, a bit better, but it's still an absolute tip. So I've now got to concentrate on um, where I can either edit that video and get it uploading and then do some tidying or tidy and upload. Mm, I think I better do a bit of tidying first. Anyway, oh, apart from a little, little drop of water where the machine was stood when I was doing a bit to camera, it has actually, this floor was filthy because um, it was pretty dirty anyway. But because I had the doormat away and I've been in and out of the house and I've cleaned up the dog poos and I've topped up the bird table, I purposely trod in a load of muck. So it was pretty filthy to make a good demo, you know, for video. So pretty pleased with that. Oh, right. Um, I'll quickly show my little air fryer in case anyone's interested, such as... Uh, Elliot, who's uh, in the market for a new air fryer. Here's my new air fryer. Now I got this to save electricity, which is why I think Elliot and Matt are looking for an air fryer, because it does cost a lot of money to put the oven on, especially if you're just cooking for one person or you're just doing a small meal. So that's why I wanted an air fryer that's more like a mini oven. I've got a Ninja one, but it's a bit of a one trick pony. It was okay for doing chips, but very little else because you can only really do one food stuff in it at a time. Um, so it's a bit limited. So I went for a mini oven. I'm just going to switch on. I haven't used half the features of this, but um, I'm turning it on so I can show you the interior and the interior light. So it's really easy to clean. I've just given it a wipe over. In fact, I haven't dried it, hang on. It hasn't got dirty. This has been used quite a lot. Now it does do chips, like an air fryer, but you can also do convenience meals. A ready meal will fit in this. In fact, I did a ready meal and some chips at the same time. Um, I think Mark's done fish and chips in it. You can also use it as a grill. You can do a toasted cheese sandwich or grill a piece of meat. It's also got, which I don't use and probably never will, a rotisserie. There's another uh, couple of attachments and in the middle there's a rotisserie and you can, I suppose you could do some sort of vegetarian rotisserie thing, but you could do a small chicken in there or kebabs or something, but it's, uh, it's not something I'm, I'm going to ever use. So all the bits of dishwasher safe, that's a baking tray you get with it that fits on the bottom, but you could, I suppose, no, it only fits on the bottom. That just keeps uh, most of the dirt off the bottom of the oven. And then you get three wire baskets. That deeper one is for your chips. And then you've got two regular baskets. Oh, I've done garlic bread in this as well. Pretty good. So you can't really use three shelves at once. I don't think. Three shelves do fit in, as you can see, but you'd have to have some, well, you might get fish fingers in, fish fingers, well, chips, fish fingers and burgers in, possibly, all in one thing. So that's the size. I don't know if you can see. That's the size of the actual area you've got for the chips. And you shouldn't really pile them too high. So there's that. And as you can see, it's got the little interior light. Let's put that back in. And you can check on the items um, when they're cooking. But when you're cooking, you don't need to check them. You can actually turn the light off and just leave it. So I would set it, turn the light off. But if you want to have a look, you can just turn the light on mid cooking cycle or leave it on if you want to. It's also got this grill or griddle attachment. So you can do burgers on that. That's what I, you know, you could use it as a toaster, do your cheese toasties or whatever. And then you take out one of the trays and put that on the top. Yeah like so. It won't work with the door open though. I, that's what confused me when I first got this. I thought, why is it not working? Why is it not working? So you do have to close the door and select the grill function. It will do a small pizza. And you can do a pizza on this. It does actually say pizza on it, but it's just going to be one of those small individual sized pizzas. You're not going to get a large pizza in this oven, but then you could not get a large pizza inside most air fryers. So I don't 
tend to leave that in that that stays in a drawer and then there's this I think this belongs to this one but I'm not sure <laughs> don't quote me on it I'm not really sure what that's about but anyway but yes for what we need it for it's really useful as I say just doing one ready meal just doing a few chips fish fingers burgers much more economical than turning on the big oven this door does come off for easier cleaning and it just sits in the corner so it's basically like a mini oven more like an oven than an air fryer in my opinion it's quite a reflective surface so it's a bit hard to show you and to be honest um, I haven't really used most of the functions on this but you've got a menu button here so you have a, a specific chip function then that's a chicken that's steak fish pizza baking so you can bake cakes in this and then there's even a dehydrating function so you can dry fruit you can make your own um, dried banana chips if you want to I've not tried that and then there's a the grill function but basically so far we've just been setting the timer and the temperature with many air fryers you have to either reduce the temperature and the time or both we found with this one we more or less do it to the time it says on the packet but the fact with this we don't have to wait several minutes for, to, for it to heat up you know you could be waiting 10 minutes or so for your main oven to heat up and that's 10 minutes you could be cooking so there's no preheating we don't bother preheating so we do select more or less the time it says sometimes a little less but I found with a ready meal I just do it for the time it says so you would select the temperature with this it's normally 200 or actually with the fan because it call it say it's a fan oven regard this as a fan oven which is normally you'd normally do it at 180 for a fan oven if it says 200 it would say or 180 fan so you can just reduce the temperature that one and then you've got this to do the timing up and down so basically you put the item in select the timer temperature time and um, if you're using just the regular oven you make sure there's nothing displaying on the menu so to use it as a regular oven you don't press any of the menu options so it's now acting as a mini oven so at the time now it's going to heat up at 200 and go for 15 minutes so all I'd have to do now is close it and press the start button and there you go the light's gone out automatically but as I said if I want to look at my food during the cooking cycle I can turn the light on or I can just open the door and I can already feel the heat coming out of that so it I really do like it um, I'll leave a link if it's still available it was out of stock from Tefal where I bought it you might be able to get it on Amazon but um, for me this type of air fryer is far more versatile than those ones that have got that uh, big sort of bowl thing that you pull out with a handle which is what my previous one was and that got absolutely filthy this one is much easier to clean and it stays a lot cleaner as well so there you go that's a little review mainly for Elliot from the Elliot and Matt channel but somebody else might be interested if you want to conserve a bit of electricity especially if you're just a single person or a couple um, you might consider getting one of these instead of putting on your main oven so yeah so that's the T-file I'm not really sure how you cancel it <clears throat> I've never worked out how to cancel it if you want because sometimes you check it and it's done so <laughs> I just end up switching it off at the wall but there you go so I hope that uh, has proved useful for anyone who's in the market for an air fryer I'm in unboxing mode now so let's see what I've got here from Very I can't remember what it is it's probably something very very boring oh I've remembered now what it is so it is something very very boring but I'll show you anyway and then I've got another little box from Lakeland which might be a little bit more exciting right this was a Black Friday offer plus I got my ex-colleague discount oh heck oh it's heavy you see my ambition folks is to be in Bake Off 2023 <laughs> 
no I don't think that's going to happen um right yes how do you open it then this way this is just some bakeware now I probably don't need a lot of these items but it was a very good offer even cheaper than Amazon and this brand masterclass gets very good reviews and everything nests into one dish so that will not fit in my air fryer I can assure you but yes they're pretty heavy gauge pretty good so that's some sort of dish for something I probably won't use that <laughs> And then we've got sort of a raised flan dish. Another sort of flan dish. Yeah, all very good high gauge, thick stuff though. I think that's a, a cake tin or sandwich tin. I don't know why I call them sandwich tins, you know, because it's not a sandwich, it's a cake. Then we've got a bigger cake tin I mean you can use this for other stuff not just cakes use it for savory things couldn't you I could make a I could make a savory flan a quiche and there's another bigger sort of pan but they all nest this is what attracted me they nest all together and then there's a even bigger I don't know what I put in there um, but anyway it all fits in like so and takes up less room in the cupboard. So that is for some future baking I'm planning on doing. You see, I'm a, I'm a fool. If, you know, I've bought loads of stuff before I even try out if I'm gonna like cooking and baking. I was good at it at school, but that was mainly due to the fact that I liked using the appliances, etc. Um, so instead of just trying it out with the equipment I've got, and just buying a few ingredients. So no, that's not the Roger way. I've just bought loads of stuff, loads of equipment, new food mixer, um, lots of other utensils. I mean, we didn't even have a sieve though. You need a sieve. Mark threw it away ages ago. It got rusty because we never needed it, but uh, I needed a sieve. So I got a sieve. Um, some, I've even bought some ceramic baking beans for blind baking. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I hope it's worth it anyway. That's going to help me become a master baker, I'm sure. I said master baker, in case any of you are sniggering. Right, so let's just put that to one side. Eesh! And uh, get this Lakeland. Any of my non-UK viewers. Lakeland is, well, if you go into a Lakeland shop, Lakeland sell cookware, bakeware, cleaning products, things for the home um, when you walk into one of those shops you will find that it's mainly older folk that seem to shop in Lakeland who've got the time to do all this handmade home baked homespun stuff arts and crafts baking cakes decorating cakes just doing everything you know they've got a lot of time on their hands um, anyway it's a nice shop and they have a good customer service and they, they started off in the Lake District. So I, I bought more than I was going to buy because I hate paying for postage and you had to spend a certain amount to get free delivery. So that's what I did. So let's see, I, I remember one thing I bought. I can't remember everything though. One thing is Christmas related. Now Mark was moaning, well, he mentioned we don't have any pastry forks. I'm sure we had a couple of pastry forks and one can't eat a lovely cake with a normal fork or spoon. So, one of the items in this box are a pack of six Viner's pastry forks. Will it? No, I can't remove it. They've bolted them in. Anyway, I might be able to pull one out. Oh, they do this so you can't nick them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they need to go in the dishwasher. So, nice little pastry fork. So you've got um, something nice to eat. All my homemade cakes and pastries I'll be making. 
I'll need to get one of those three-tiered uh, stands, you know, for afternoon tea. So there's those. They weren't very expensive, these, but Viner's is a good make. I suspect, though, they're made in China now. Oh, no. Oh, I stand corrected. Indonesia. Well, I suppose it's better than China. Right. I also got this. Now, it's not for the bedroom, you dirty-minded folk. Now, Fanny um, suggested this type of rolling pin. It is the professional type and it's got to be the best. If professionals use it, then you know it'll be all right for you. And um, she was actually suggesting that someone could pop one of these in your stocking. If you haven't seen them and you can get a chance to watch Fanny Cooks for Christmas, watch them because I watch them every year. Sometimes even in July, I just fancy a bit of Fanny. Uh, it's left a little mark on there. So this is a wooden rolling pin because we don't we didn't even have a rolling pin and I'm going to be making my own pastries hopefully. I'm um, going to do everything. Hope <laughs> that's the plan. Whether it turns out like that I don't know. So there we go and also you, you can keep that by your bed in case some burglar comes in and tries to take away your innocence. Just keep it by your bed and whack him on the temple with that. So that's a professional rolling pin as uh, endorsed by the goddess Fanny of the Craddock. So that's uh, so a lot of this is obviously baking related. What's this? Oh yes, hmm. this was only cheap and it was basically I got this to make up the pennies you know so I got the free delivery but it might come in useful it got good reviews. It is a flexible silicone chocolate melting pot. So it's basically, you put the chocolate in it and then you pop it in the microwave. Now, one reason I got this, I've actually got somewhere a chocolate mould shaped like a vacuum cleaner and it's quite, quite a vintage thing. Oh, bloody packaging. Ugh. In fact, that looks a bit, that looks like, what do those ladies have? Is it a moon cup? I, I, I don't I hope you're not eating your tea. Right, well, I didn't know I had a lid. So basically, yes, you put your chocolate in there and then you can melt it in the microwave and then you can pour it out. And I believe it, you can turn it inside out and it's easy clean. So yes, um, it might come useful for cakes and biscuits if you wanted melted chocolate just to pour over the top. But yes, I want to make, I actually want to make one of the chocolate uh, vacuum cleaners I've got with this vintage mold I bought on eBay ages ago. So that is a chocolate melting pot silicone for melting, pouring and storing. Um, I'll just keep that little instruction there just to make sure I'm not using it incorrectly. I'm, I'm saving the, what I think the best to last. Oh, this, I think I've got one of these, but it's been used for all sorts of things. Um, so I thought I'd get another one just to keep exclusively for baking. This is an OXO Good Grips uh, mini angled measuring jug. So instead of using spoons, and, you know, tablespoons and teaspoons to measure out small ingredients, you can pour it in this little jug here. It goes up to 60 millilitres or two fluid ounces. And um, yeah, it's got measurements on the inside and the outside. It won't take all the label off at the moment, but that's going to be a handy little thing for my baking, hopefully. Ooh, what else have I got? What's this? Uh, ah, yes, a cleaning product. This was highly recommended by the folk that reviewed it. And I want to use it for my kitchen table. And it's a company called Balds. It's Balds, Balds, B-A-L-D-S, Original Wood Balm. And this is for light wood. You can get it for dark wood as well. And I'm thinking of using this on my kitchen table, the top of that. It's gone a bit manky. Um, oh, look at that. It's, ooh, it's sealed with wax. How old fashioned. Look at that. It's like oldie worldy stuff. <laughs> it's got a wax seal on it. So um, I'll let you know how I get on with this can be used on all wood in your home, furniture, wooden floors, kitchen units, doors, garden furniture, wooden stairs, skirting boards, windowsills, ceiling beams, wall panels, the list goes on. Obviously, it has to be bare wood, not painted wood. 
So yes, I might use it on other things, but it's mainly to try it on my kitchen tabletop. So there's that. And I think the last thing, which is the Christmas element. Let me just, yes, here it is. Oh, I've wanted to do one of these for years. Hang on, let me just move the box. Eek. Right, can you see with this silly lighting? This is a Lakeland traditional gingerbread house kit. Now I couldn't have one of these as a vegan, but I believe it is okay for vegetarians. So um, it's quite a, a traditional thing. I've never had one or made one. I'm hoping when I open it, all these parts will be intact and have not been smashed in the post. So it's basically a make your own, you get everything. You just glue it together using icing and uh, what have you. So folks, that's going to be one of my Christmas special videos. I'll be making that. I'll be putting on a lovely apron. I don't think there'll be, I might, I might have to use a hand mixer for the icing. I don't know. I won't be using my big mixer because it's all more or less ready made. So there you go. Well, there you go, folks. Another slice of my life for any of you who are vaguely interested in finding out what I get up to. Been getting up to quite a lot in this vlog. So hopefully you found something of interest to tickle your fancy. Lots to come. Um, <laughs> Christmas videos, obviously, I'll be doing the Advent series, Christmas baking, the gingerbread house. I'll hopefully be making a cake, um, Christmas decorating. So I'm going to start the Christmas videos off in December. Obviously, the 1st of December will be the first Advents. And um, I'll be putting other little vlog videos in between with Christmas content and uh, showing you what I've bought or what I've been up to. So thanks for watching. If you've stayed till the very end, if you stay till the bitter end, say hmm, pastry fork. That can be the that can be our code word, pastry fork. So comment pastry fork and obviously anything else you'd like to comment on. If you want to comment on anything, please comment below and I'll see you all at some point for another vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.